but that goes on forever and ever and ever. That's a nice little song, isn't it? Doesn't that make you feel like you want to go racing? Driving around like a lunatic? Yeah, me too. Well, driving around like a lunatic's a lot of fun, but you know, not right now, dreamers. We've got uh, H.io games to play. Um, hi, dreamers. Feels like it's been a long old time, doesn't it? Uh, even though it's only really been a week. Uh, but you know, a week is a long time and bingo, I, I suppose. Um, yeah, nice to be back. Nice to be back in front of the old microphone. Ready to stream? No, not really. Not really. But we'll manage, I'm sure. Somehow. Um, I hope you lot are happy and well on this lovely Thursday evening. I say lovely, I mean, it's, it's actually it's quite windy. That seems to be the, the thing of the moment. Um, it's actually snow uh, where I was last week, which was exciting. A bit of snow uh, in April, which is interesting. I'm drinking a coffee. I've actually, I've got loads of drinks in front of me. I'm going to need all of them, I believe, to try and power through this somehow. Um, but yeah, I was away for a week. That's why we didn't have a stream last week. Uh, in theory, with some kind of recharge. Two weeks. Well, yeah, a week in streaming terms though, right? I mean, we only missed one week. Um, didn't we? Yeah, we had, a, we had a stream on a week on Thursday, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. It's all kind of blurring together, really. I was remarking about this um, maybe on the last stream. Doesn't March just feel like it just went by like, like that? It was just gone. Just like the week of March. Um, April... I mean, April's probably thundering away as well, but... That's okay. It's, what I'm getting at is the theory. The theory would be that I am, you know, recharged. My batteries are rare, you know, fully charged, ready to go, ready to attack. Uh, except, not really. Uh, so there's that to contend with. But you know, in principle, I am unwind, unwound. I'm on. I was gonna say unwinded. I don't think unwinded is is the right way of saying that. Unwound. I don't think unwound is quite right either. So you would unwind, but I don't know if you would unwound. You would have unwound. That's not a turn of phrase that I think I've heard very much. Maybe we should start using that more often. Have you unwound today, dreamers? I hope you have. Find some time to unwound. Unwind. It's just a wind up in it. It's just a prank. That's what they say in the UK. You don't say it's a prank. Say it's a wind up, huh? You know, like the toys. Hmm. Wow. Oh, but it's it's nice to be back streaming again. It is nice. I've missed the sound of my own voice. Yeah. No, I haven't. Um, who have we got in the chat? Uh, Cross Cruz here. Hello. Uh, Argon E. Indeed. Uh, Brood. Hello, Brood. Guten Guten Afton. Yes. Um. Pseudo fossil, hi, Dr. Rod. Haha, ha, after you said after. Who said after? What? You what? Uh, Zach Minty, finally back, baby. Uh, good to have uh, us all back. I'm back. Everybody's back. We're back, everybody. We're bringing the band back together. Starting with uh, Brood. And that's good because Brood's uh, like a musical as well. Brood the musical. Um. And uh, Amir, hi guys. It's it's a pleasure, of course, to have you all on board this lovely Thursday evening. And what a Thursday evening it's going to be, because you know, if there's one thing that gets people excited, it's uh, well, it's Yumi fan games, to be honest. Um, God, we had a good time last time. Somebody put a reference to bloody Chiller in their um, in their Yumi fan game. Who would have thought that such a thing would ever happen ever? But it did happen, dreamers. You bore witness to it, as did I. We're going to look at this, though. Next to IO Horror Games, isn't it? You remember this. It's been a while since we've done this. Um, you know, as I remarked, slaloming around the uh, FNAF fan games, which there doesn't seem to be a ridiculous amount of. As I was saying the last time we looked at Edge to IO, it seems like, you know, people have got all the FNAF out of their system. You know, they've, they've done their lewd fan art, they've made their fan games, they're all just, you know, they're probably moving on to Sonic now, to be honest, because the Sonic film's coming out soon, isn't it? If it's not already out yet, I don't really know, I didn't even see the first one. Um, but, you know, FNAF, that's that's old news, right? FNAF, like, FNAF. Um, 
But what are these games? This is a FNAF fan game. It even says there, FNAF fan game. This is a FNAF fan game. It's called One Night at Anonymous. And it's got an interesting bit of description there. There's a three in it. I think that's that's uh, Russian in it. Uh, Nikita Click Team Unity, a.k.a. Free Virus. No, it probably isn't a virus. Probably. Um, but yeah, these, are, these all look great. Look at this Flappy Bird. Yeah. So in case you've not tuned in, you don't know what we're doing in this lovely Thursday evening, uh, we're going to be playing some games off of itch.io. Now, historically, back in the day, back in a great many days, in fact, we would have gone through this. In fact, they haven't moved on to Sonic at all. It's the fucking backrooms that they've moved on to, isn't it? Fucking backrooms. Backrooms, backrooms, backrooms. We already played backrooms. Well, we played a backrooms-esque game. I don't... I haven't gone off and done loads of backrooms lore researching, so from my perspective, I, I'm still ill-equipped to play backrooms because um, I, I don't, I don't know. I actually don't really care either, to be brutally honest. Um, but you know, we can we can figure it out. I mean, it can't be that complicated, right? I mean, we played the fan game, so that's got to be at least ninety percent of what the backrooms is, right? It's like if you'd never played Yumi Nikki, but you'd only ever played the fan games. You'd be playing Yumi Nikki eventually, and you'd be wondering, well, hang on a minute, where's all the fucking construction signs? Where's all the overhanging mazes? Where, where's the awful music? Assuming you just played the fan games. Maybe that's a good idea, though. Yeah, maybe I'll indoctrinate people into the world of Yumi Nikki, but only via playing fan games. And just pick the really shit ones, like Yumi 2. Uh... <laughs> I see what I was doing there, Jeremy. So it's, it's, it's humor, in it? Humor. It's the Iowa horror games, everybody. So yes, we, we might pick a FNAF game just because they're usually a, a little bit of a laugh. <laughs> Those nights at Fredbear's. That's some good art there. Look at that. Look at him there with his oddly sized teeth. Interesting. It's all very interesting, but we won't be playing random ones because that typically has not led to great results. Maybe, you know, I'm almost tempted to try it again because there is a certain charm to just the randomness. Um, but what I have instead done is I've taken a select few of the games which are recent and uh, the ones that I thought looked like they might be worth checking out. And I thought we'll have a look at that. The bathrooms. Yeah, we're playing the bathrooms tonight. Yeah, everyone's going to have to uh, coordinate their bathroom trip. And then we're going to commentate on the bathroom trips. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know anything about your bathroom trips. I actually don't even... Don't don't get any ideas, dreamers. I know what you are like. We don't need to have that, okay? Now, if you want to commentate or in, indeed you want to provide audio of like you, you taking your socks off, then, you know, what can I say, you know? Discord's right over there. Uh, Dame's not actually here to post the links to the Discord, so I suppose I should probably do that at some point. But we can worry about that later on. We're waffling. We're not even got to the games yet. But more importantly than the games is we have these as well. Tropes of H2IO horror games from over the years um, that have been suggested by our studio audience. Uh, the ones we have this evening, for your pleasure, are... Oh, you plum. It's just what happens when you take a week off. Uh, game breaks not even three minutes into it. Rage quit. Game is way too dark. Key hunt. Game has VR support. Generic you win PNG end screen. Instant death screen. Queen fade spotted. And 3D walking horror. Um, any of those come up? I'll be taking a shot. Uh, I have it <laughs> really pushing the boat out here. I have the same uh, bourbon that I was drinking, I think, on the last stream. So we're going to be finishing off that with any luck. Um, it's going to have oxidized a bit. I don't know if that's the right term, probably. But I'm sure that will just make it taste even nicer. Um, it is Jim Beam, though. Uh, uh, that's controversial in and of itself. Some other things might happen, depending on how we get on. Um, still looking for that glorious bingo so we can actually get on with the good stuff. But... Um, aside from that, that's about it, Dreamers. So without any further ado, since we've managed to kill 15 minutes just, you know, catching up like good old pals, it's about time that we actually started looking at some of these games. So I thought to to 
you know, get us in the mood here. A bit of a palate cleanser. Well, I don't know if it will be a palate cleanser, but it, it sounds like it could be at least relatively punchy, relatively brief. Uh, I thought we'd have a look at this game. It's called Park Lane. Park Lane. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? Apparently it was made for some kind of game jam. Ludlum Dare 50. I get the feeling we've played games from that game jam before. So, and I think they were actually okay. So, uh, we'll have a look at that. Yeah? Yeah. 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 It's about a train journey home. That's something we can all relate to, right? Oh, uh, well, maybe. Maybe. Good. Right. Uh, what's happening in the chat? Um, yeah, bathrooms, yeah. Five nights in the back rooms. Uh, Sonic Horror Game, there definitely was. Um, I suppose I am somewhat musical. I wasn't saying you were musical, uh, Brood. I was saying that you were a musical, you know, like a off-Broadway production, or indeed a, a Broadway production. Uh, good to hear your voice again, Fudge. Yeah, maybe. Uh, he says, as there are two FNAF games right next to each other on the screen. I got to them, Argon. I did get to them, actually. I was, I was, it was comedic pacing, you see. Um, there are people who make Yuminiki fan games who have never played Yuminiki. I, I believe that, yeah. Including me. Uh, a worrying horror meme that has been brutally overdone. Uh, there's so much dog shit and itch for random to be good. Yeah, possibly. Primary colour man origins. Yeah. <laughs> uh, itchy games are so bad, it's good. I can't wait for the shitting. Oh my days. Um, I expect Key Hunt and the game's too dark and 3D walking horror to pop up within five minutes. I'm glad PSX style's trendy right now. I hope it never dies. Uh, well, mm, we, we've talked a, a bit about that at length, Brood. Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't... Uh, again. Oh yeah, I forgot we were playing that fucking... Um, what's his name? Uh, Av what's his name? Nicocado, Avocado, bloody FNAF fan game, weren't we? That was good fun. We had a good time with that, didn't we, Dreamers? Didn't we have a good time with that? I certainly had a fucking good time. Didn't. Didn't actually. Cheese Breach is what it was called. Yeah. Uh, PSX style is fine. It's just... Uh, I think we remarked about that before, that... It's like it's like a Yuminiki fan game, isn't it? You can't just make it look low poly and, and be like, there you go, job's job's done. Still has to be good, or at least kind of good. It's like a multiplying factor, isn't it? But if the thing that you're multiplying is zero, you're still going to get zero out of it. There's my fucking wisdom for the evening. Well, that's a fun sound. Oh, good. It runs in a fucking mass. It's full screen and it won't small. It does sound like trains, though. Oh, that's a scary sounding train. Jeez. Okay. Right. Well, it works. It does indeed work. So let's just do this, 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 this. Cool. Looks beautiful. Uh, and let's look at this then. All right. Good. Park Lane, made in 40 hours for the Ludum, Ludum Dare 50 for the theme Delay the Inevitable. Park Lane has a short PSX style horror experience about waiting for your train late at night in a dark and lonely Park Lane station. When your train is inevitably delayed, you find yourself stuck in the underground with something mean and hungry. Will you make it home? To be honest, that just sounds like a... Not really like a commute. That sounds like when you... We can talk about this as we go, Dreamers. Well, I, I'll, I'll save my rambling anecdotes from when I'm actually playing a video game. Yeah. Uh, what does it say on here? Wasid. Yep. E. South gamepad button. What does this mean? South gamepad button. How does one get to the south gamepad button? Interesting. Is that like technical? No, trains. Uh, is that is that technical parlance? Do people who like use gamepads a lot will they understand what that means? South gamepad button. I guess that would be like the X on like a PlayStation controller, right? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I don't have a controller. I ain't a punk. I fucking have a mouse and keyboard. What the fuck would I want a controller for? There you go. Tags Halloween. I'm trying 
interesting. Horror. Let them dare. Let them dare. Fifty. PS One. PSX. Psychological horror. Scary. Spooky. Trains. Okay. Good. Ah. <laughs> uh, 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 funnies. The funny. No. 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 That's the wrong one. There we go. Right. Good. Okay. See, I wasn't lying about the trains. If I came to load, I might just... I think that's intentional. I'm just going to turn it down just a wee bit because, you know, as much fun as the ambience of a fucking underground station is, um, we can probably do without the noise of trains just constantly ripping through our skulls. Um, I'm more of a musical chairs kind of person. Well, this is a children's game. Uh, would you... Would you considering... Would you considering looking at my game? My computer wants to eat me. It's pretty much 3D Uniki without being a total ripoff. Uh, I, I I would consider looking at it. Rather would. The only challenge with that is I'm uh, kind of terrible at getting anything done at the moment. Uh, Bota, the Botaniki dev has been uh, very patiently asking me to play their game, and I haven't done that. So you'll probably have to join the queue behind that. Uh, behind uh, them. Um, I mean, yeah, so so many of you guys have been so creative and I've uh, I've let you down. I'm sorry. There's me wanking about somebody talk, somebody having a reference to Chiller in their game. At the same time, I'm like, yeah, fucking, I'll play your game later, mate. Bin. Ban. It's not true. It's, I'm, 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 you know, dramatizing the whole process there. Um... I remember like seven years ago when I discussed with people if PS1 style 3D would ever become a retro trend. Yeah. I should have probably. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's click on play so at least something's happening. Okay. Who remembers what the button is? Which button's the south button? Oh, tiny where? So this is this is like. This is like in the England's, isn't it? I don't want to part sticky. What's this? The map of the train line. Okay, is this actually recording properly? Looks like it is. I should buy a ticket, okay. What kind of fucking line is that? What does that say? Interchange. Intercourse. No smoking. Yeah. God. Sunderland. Of course, this doesn't really look like a UK train station much at all. I suppose it could be. Hotel R and R. I should buy a ticket. I, hear, I heard you the first time. I just I want to soak up some of the atmosphere in here. Train. This is more like a kind of American style train station. How do you even get onto the platform? Has there been a door? Hmm. It does look quite good though. New England. Is there is there a place called Tain and Where? In Tain and Weir, uh, in New England, uh, South Face Button would make more sense. Yeah, Bottom Face Button, Bottom Face Button. That's a cool name, actually. Bottom Face Button. I'm gonna call you that from now on, Oregon. Bottom Face Button. Oh, look at the Bottom Face Button. Oh, um, you should know how to navigate this. Yeah. Let's, let's buy a ticket. I'm going to pour a shot. Okay, I, I fucking heard you the first time. Jesus Christ. Right, I'm pouring a shot. I hope the monster doesn't hungrily devastate us from, the, from behind. University. University? That's my stop. Train. Shit, it's on the wrong platform, we need to run. Wow, that is a really aggressive sprint meter. What is this train even running on? It doesn't have tracks. Fucking hover train. That's a fast train, Jesus Christ. That's gone. I suppose it is meant to be PlayStation, you're right. Can't expect too much. KNG. Okay, I'm ready. Du, du, du. I'm gonna drink the shot now, cheers. 
Uh, right. Right. I wish I brought my Game Boy. I wish I brought my book. I wish I brought my headphones. I wish I brought my fidget spinner. <laughs> Never mind. I'll just fidget with that. Run. Well, I'd love to, but apparently we don't have a lot of stamina in this. Monster? Monster. What are you doing there? Uh oh. So this is what I was gonna remark on is this is this is less like the commute home from work and more like getting home after you've been out all night. Uh Dancing or playing snooker or shouting at your friends or being sick, you know, like a night out in the city. Birds? Is this Baldi's Basics? It's a little bit like Baldi's Basics. Yeah. Um, the, yeah, the lighting doesn't look very PlayStation-y, but, you know, the textures are also, I think, a bit too high resolution, but... Um, university. Well, this is bollocks, isn't it? Why aren't we going to university? We're on the wrong platform here. Yeah. There's a monster there, in case anyone's traveling to university. There's a monster there, he's gonna get on the train with you. Okay. Yeah. Traveling without a ticket will result in a fine. What is this? Is it a rocket launcher? Oh man, we're getting a fucking rocket launcher to fight the monster. Nice. That's good. I like a rocket launcher. Uh, we got a drinking condition? Watch out for homeless. Yeah, that's good advice anyway. Yeah. Monster. Monster. Safe. Seek. Safk. There's a there's another um fidget spinner there. Man, imagine trying to sit on this the like, pathetic little bench here. That would not be comfortable at all. Man, this Sutherland Sutherland place must be Amazing. I can't wait. Like, genuinely can't wait. I really wish this train would just hurry up and arrive now. The true horror, of course, is, is the realism of this. Yeah, Sunderland, let's go. Oh, here he is. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't think we got the train. We did get a hug though. That's a shame. Did we lose? Is that the, uh, is that the ending of the game? Hmm. 
I'm just having a look to see if there was a if there's any mention in the comments about like alternate endings or something like that so I can figure out if it's worth all that waiting about again. It wasn't really a game, it's more of a like standing around simulator. Good. We are CIA. Do they not realize walking up and down a train station is very boring? Uh, well, I, I'm sorry. Okay, right. Jeez. Right, good. Well, uh, let's not waste any more time on that. We'll proceed on. Now, uh, drinking conditions. What did we get out of that? What did we get out of that? Uh, 3D walking horror? It was definitely that. It was definitely that. Was that our own hands? It may have been. That's a good point, actually. Maybe the, we were just so like overwhelmed emotionally when the train finally arrived that we just had to give ourselves a hug. You know, a bit of self-love. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's a shot. Good. Good start. Liking it. Liking it. Right. What did people in the comments say about this? This interesting little game. Look at that. Fucking five out of five. Well done, Joseph Whitehead. Well done, my friend. Yep. Def don't miss taking the train. Lol. Nice work. Full play, no commentary. You see, the H.io comment section is really good, actually. It's almost like it's like a YouTube uh, feed. You know, you know how they changed it on YouTube so that when you go to the home, you would get some of the subscriptions that you have, and you might get some videos by. Uh, like people that you've watched in the past uh, and then you'll just get hundreds of just random fucking bollocks videos. This is kind of like what it's like on itch.io now in the comments except uh, and, and now you know instead of looking at your subscriptions the comments are now literally just people posting videos to hey I played your game. Hey I played your game check out my video. Hey check out this video. By the way I played your game. It's a nice game. This is an itchy game. Yeah it's certainly making me itch. A nice shot game. I like the thing. Just standing menacingly. Love hearts. Yeah. You're mental. Um, yeah. Even though there are only a few scares and there being a few space. Yeah. Mm. Trapped and vulnerable. How can you make such a good game within just... 48 hours, the atmosphere, the colours, everything about it makes it very creepy. Keep up the good work. Yeah. I featured your game in my video. I am Puppy Floppy, that's a good name. For a game that was made in 48 hours, I think you did awesome. Stay positive. Much love, PF. PF is short for Puppy Floppy. Good. I really enjoyed this game. Yeah. <laughs> if you'd like to check out gameplay, here we go. If you enjoy, be sure to hit that sub button. Thank you. Well, these subs hit the sub button. This is, it is kind of soul destroying, isn't it? Maybe one day I'll, you know, I'll have a really popular itch.io horror game, and then when loads of people are posting their videos of them playing it, I'll be looking at this and I'll be going, oh that's cute, they actually spent the time to play the game. Except that that's not probably what they want, right? They're just using your, the, the page that you've created for your hard graft as a bit of advertising for their YouTube channel. Nice one. There's only one person who can post on here who I will not levy that at. Oh, see, and there's actual tech support, that's the other thing that should go here. Very cool game. Yes, good game. Don't even leave any real feedback, just good game. Heebie jeebies. God, people. <gasps> See? There she is. My girl. She's not my girl, but. Um, Queen Faith. 2022. Back with a vengeance. Here we go. I saw that like one. Queen Faith is in there. I, I can see that, Oregon. See, you're, you're on the point tonight, but somehow I am also vaguely on the point as well, because I founds it. I founds it, and that means we've got two already. <laughs> nice, that means I need to have a double. Good. Creepy. So creepy game. Nice. Banger. 
Uh, good. Well, that was... I mean, it wasn't bad. I, I get the feeling we might have missed some things about it, but, you know, life is imperfect, isn't it? You can't expect everything to just be fine. But, you know, I suppose it was well presented for what it is. We didn't manage to break it. But we can always try harder next time. Anyway, we're playing random H.I.O. horror games. And by random, of course, I mean I, I picked them. Uh, so we're going to move on to the next one. And the next one that I thought looked like it would be interesting. Which I'm deciding on right now, actually. Let's do this one. Du -du -du. I think someone spotted this, actually. Uh, uh, Doctor, I think you spotted this. Instant death, we got bingo. It wasn't an instant death. We got fucking hands put around us. Um, I don't know. I don't know how robust that is as an argument. I'm going to pour a double, though. So that's what I'm getting. Jeez. Drinking them out of, of course, the Doom shotgun shell shot glasses. Uh, funded by dreamers. Funded by dreams. Yeah. Um, that's called a train station. Yeah. Oh, I try. Um, the prophecy. Uh, if only I have a bingo in the first game. Yeah. If only Argon. That's exactly what we fucking need. Me getting smashed at fucking nine o'clock. Great. Um, do you actually do the? No. Uh, I, that's the thing that I thought. Really, if it, that's why I was questioning if it was even a game. It felt like we were just. We were just there. This is a really colourful page. I'm sorry if you guys are just gouging your eyes out looking at this. This game's called Primary Colour Man Origins. And apparently was submitted to a game jam called Primary Colour Man Jam. Is Primary Colour Man like a thing? Is that a thing? Primary Colour Man is the work of Leo Vincible, a.k.a. Adam Woodsmith. Okay, I guess this is some kind of horror thing that we're just not uh, au fait with. Queen Faith with? Queen Faith with? Um, so we'll, we'll have a look at it, I suppose. Why not? No, thanks. Good. 552 megabytes. This game better be fucking brilliant with that size. Um, I'm going to drink a shot now. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, Brood, I suppose it is, it's of course true, but um, it is a game jam entry that was done in 48 hours, right? So, it's difficult to really say that, sure, there's plenty they probably could have done on it, but the fact that they got something working and finishable in, in that period of time, probably better than I could do. Let's not uh, beat around the bush here. PCM Origins. Cool name. Oh, and it's Unreal Engine, is it? It is. Wow. Wow. My favourite. Good. Uh, yeah, it could have also had, uh, I don't know, brewed some uh, bullet time in it, you know, like in the Max Paynes. Um, could have had, uh, like, Mech Warrior, you know, like, you could have had uh, heat mechanics, like, so when you take lots of fire, your, your uh, mech will overheat. And then eventually it will explode. Just some ideas, you know. I'm sure you could do that in 48 hours, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could. Could you? Challenge. Challenge? Is that a challenge? Uh -huh. You're going to start the fucking VR, aren't you? I can just smell it. you got a, you got a smelliness about you. Or it could just be taking, like, literally forever to start up. Oh, no, here we go. Here we go. Yep, it's starting up. I knew you would. Nope. 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 Good. Trial by Fire games. Made with primary color engine. Okay, right. Things are happening here. What a beautiful series of sound effects. Wow-wee. 
Also, this game's really exciting, my computer. That's good. That's what I like to see. It's using nearly 100% uh, of my graphics card utilization, which is which is interesting, considering it's a bloody game off of H.io. Uh, that must mean it's going to be really good. Really good, in fact, dreamers. One of the best around. Right. Good. And while that's happening, let's just quickly do this, 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 this. Nice. Okay, good. Right. Okay, listen clear, everybody. They should have just made Fear of Four. Yeah. Um, what if there was a little mouse that came up and tried to bite your toes? Yeah. What if the monster actually interacted with you in some way that wasn't just like knocking over the RPG or dicking about while waiting for the train on the other platform. Hmm? 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 Um. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a cool game mechanic could be that you get on the train. Just a thought. Right. Primary Color Men Origins. Right. We read this bit already. Adam Woodsmith is a self-taught surreal slash horror artist with a love for the macabre. Primary Color Man Origins was made for the Primary Color Man Game Jam. The game was made in about 10 sleepless days with the idea of giving Primary Color Man some backstory. 10 sleepless days, wow. I didn't just want to make a chase based game. I wanted the player to have moments of peace to enjoy the colorful world I've created. Using puzzles was a great way to allow, of allowing the player to give, allowing me to give the player, I can't read properly, it's this fucking color scheme. Um, a different sense of horror with a slow build-up. Primary Color Man has always been given a playful, almost comedic sense of horror, so I decided to play on that and focus the game around a circus-slash-playhouse setting. You are the supervisor at Vincible Paint Company. After an accident involving your last supervisor, you're tasked with fulfilling your duties and also attending your induction. After the induction video finishes, you decide to head home and pick up from where you left off, but for some reason you never make it out of the building. Okay. Primary Color Man. Puzzles. Is this Primary Color Man? I don't know. Does anyone in the chat know what Primary Color Man is? Is, is it a thing? Okay. Support on Patreon. Join the Discord. Join the Discord, gamers. Uh, right, good. This really is an off-color screen. Uh, 3D creepy first-person horror. Psychological horror, short single player survival horror, Unreal Engine. Nice. 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 What does it look like? Looks like this. Sounds a bit like this. I could turn up just a smidge because it's quiet ish. Options. What options you got for us? Okay. I don't want to play with those. Uh, I, I suppose I'd just pour another shot. Okay, jings. Right, as I said, is primary color man a thing? Is that like the black, the the back rooms before the back rooms, the bathroom of the back rooms, otherwise known as primary color man origins? This font looks familiar. I don't know why. Start. Yeah. Okay, millions of words here to read. Uh, six months ago, there was an accident at Vincible Paint Co. involving the supervisor. Yeah, we got that already. Unknown to many was that the accident was covered up internally by the board and the newly appointed supervisor. Yay, I guess. What's going on here? Nothing, seemingly. Okay. Uh, the events have that unfolded after this incident have caused many people to go missing, quit, and become institutionalized as concern grows for the company and its revenues. Management has decided to offer an attractive package for new employees looking to make the next big step in their career. Desperate for jobs in an unstable economy, you and many others decide to sign up and take on a new challenge, challenge in your career at Vincible Paint Company. Your first day is today, and you must undergo your induction training. I can't wait to get inducted. Yeah, there is. There he is, induction man. Hello and welcome. Oh. Today we are go 
I add touch speed up. Colors you may ask. The primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. They are the first of the colors. As they do not have a previous color what? before them, they can be blended together with another primary color to make a different color. What color do you know came before the primary colors? What? Blank? Primary colors, everybody. Yellow. Primary color, yellow. That's right. Start by adding two of the primary colors together. So this seems like it's got a bit this of red and blue. Baldi's Let's basics. See what color appears when we mix them together. That's right. Purple. Purple is what we get when you mix red and blue together. Let's try another uh -huh. two colors. Yeah, go on, show us. Drinking it. Oh, I didn't say hi first, nice, but uh, bye, I suppose. That's right. Green. Green is what we get when you mix blue and yellow together. Let's try another. Yeah. This is yellow and red. Let's see what color appears when we mix them together. Yeah. That's right. Orange. Orange. orange is what we get when you That's a delicious looking red. orange. Holy we shit. We mixed all the primary colors together and made different colors called secondary colors. Let's combine all our primary colors together and see what we get. Ah, shit, I'm sorry. It looks like the uh, induction video has gone on the fritz again. You want to call it a day, head home, and we can pick this up tomorrow. Colors. That's right, I'm primary colors, man. I'm so primary, I don't even need the green. What is this thing? Is that a projector? Okay. What's this? What? Hey. Okay. It's very orange outside. Incredibly so. Um. Yeah. What's going on here? I am just reading the chat. Uh, do they all go bottoms up in caffeine, energy drinks, and maybe speed, or do they try and stay arrested? Um, cat naps. Well, I kind of did that back in the night shift days. You remember? You remember Brit? DDJ2? Um, I didn't sleep a lot. And that was just by not sleeping a lot. Not by those other things that you mentioned. Good idea, though. I mean, that'll fucking get the game jam going. I mean, it'll get something going. Probably your blood pressure. Um, I don't even know what colours are. Yeah, me neither. Is this supposed to be PSX? No, I don't think so. It does look a little bit kind of... Toilet. Ah, we found it! The bathrooms. It's kind of foggy in there. Who did a fucking hand wash in the bathrooms? It's primary colors, man. Why does the door open this way? Primary colors, man. Primary. What's up, man? This is primary colors, man, I guess. Can I drive my car? Quite loud that music.
Yeah, we get it. Okay, Aaron, you made most of the game, if not all of it. Yeah? Leo Vincible. Nice. Do, do, do. Nice. Primary color man origin. We're in a cage, everybody. Our rusty chain. Where? A uh, rusty. <laughs> you look like you could do with a hand or a crowbar. Yeah, give it. I'm Gordon Freeman's. Yeah, that seems safe. Bye then. Where did my crowbar go? That's not fair. Primary colors, man. It's got all of the colors, but only the primary ones. But for some reason, there's yellow. This way? Oh. Maybe it does have a bit of a PSX -y vibe to it. PS sexy? PS sexy? Yeah. Primary color sexy. It's not safe. It's not safe. It's not safe, I told you. But nobody listened to me. And now I'm left floating in a vat of paint. Too thick to kick against. <laughs> My red, blue, and yellow. Cries of help fell on deaf ears because of those idiots goofing around. But you're here now. You'll listen to me, won't you? Maybe. I can't really hear you that clearly through all the paint, but um, that'd be alright. It's supposed to be the night hatchet. I, I don't know. If there's a single train in this one, I'm going to freak out. Maybe we should just wait on this platform and see if a train arrives. Paint. Yeller. Okay, we do have a stamina meter. It looks delicious, man. I want to drink some paint. Mm-mm. You know, fuck you. Not today, my friend. I'm going over here. I don't want to go in any clown's mouth. Do you think that kind of what do you what kind of channel do you think this is? Some kind of fucking fetish channel? No, sir. The only mouth we're going to be jumping into is adventure, which is down here. Which is down here. Which is... Oh, okay. Okay. The back rooms are filled with paint. And the bathrooms are filled with paint. And the back rooms are filled with paint. And paint. And paint. Let's go. Cool. 
into the belly of the beast, as it were. If you can even hear me. Whoa! You're a fucking... Wanna hear a funny joke? No. I have your little girl. <laughs> what? Come and find her. <laughs> what did he say? He has a little girl. He has our little girl. Oh, you can keep her, mate. I don't fucking like her. Turn it down just a just a wee smidge, just because it is it's kind of intense. Uh oh. Uh oh. Adventure. Oh, for Christ's sake! It's such a pathetic jump. That's my fucking strafe jump. There we go. All right. I thought that was like fucking SpongeBob there, but it's not. It's the sign that says "Our Circus." And it's just like in the Yumi Tookies. What's that thing that's... Oh, it's the shadow of the flashlight. Okay. Okay. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen! Primary color men! girls, please put your hands together for primary color man! Let's go. Nice staff. Impressed? Yeah. No? Well, huh? you're no fun. I'm sending you to the playhouse. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Horror game, innit? Right, is this gonna be like some kind of colour mixing nonsense? Maybe we should try making them all one colour just to make sure that does something. Oh, good puzzles. Oh my god, I'm not in the mindset for puzzles. What's that? Oh, it's another thing that changes colour. Good. Right, we're going to make everything yellow. Okay? Yellow, everybody. Yellow. Right, everything's yellow. Oh, look, here we go. What's this? Plus one. What do you mean, plus one? Plus one? What? Red, blue, yellow. Right. I don't think that's the solution, but... Red... What's this? Mm -hmm. Oh good, this is my kind of puzzle. 
No, that's a heart, isn't it? I don't know what this is. Yellow. Why does it have a plus one on it, though? Does that mean add one to the color value? I can't even remember which order they were in. Oh, it's a puzzle, Dreamers. It's the worst thing that could have happened. I'm in a puzzle-based H.I.O. horror game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. Oh, is it, is it, it's... Oh, there's only one in here. Right, okay, I've obviously misunderstood what's happening here. Right. 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 Because I'm an idiot. Right, so that one needs to be, we'll say that one needs to be yellow, right? So let's go with yellow. Yellow. That to me looks like a heart. Personally. And the one at the top left looks like a stomach. Yeah, look. Red. Blue. Hey, did it! Did it. This looks plenty dangerous. Gross. Okay. Can we like save a game or anything? We can't. It makes me almost tempted to try running into those things to see what happens, but let's not. Oh shit. What the fuck is going on here? Low gravity? Uh-huh. Oh, jeez. Right. Let's try the other door, I guess. Well, that was good. A lot of saws up there. What are you doing over there, primary colours men? You having lunch? What's for lunch, eh? Can't really tell. It looks to me like there's considerable danger on these surfaces. What? Why are we moving around like this? Puzzles are scary. They are that. reason you automatically run forward when you come out of that door. I don't know what that's about. Oh, 
So I guess we need to like do a super jump somehow. From where? Wanna hear a funny oh joke? Christ, really? I have your little girl. <laughs> you fucking respawn all the way back here. We can't save the game. Oh my god. How do we even die though? It was an instant death screen. I think that might mean we have a bingo. Man. Ah. Ow. 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 <laughs> so what did you think? Impressed? Of course. Ow? Well, you're no fun. I'm sending you to the playhouse. Thanks. I've always wanted to I had a good time last time. I can't believe it gives you checkpoints when you fall off, but if you hit the slamers. What? Red, blue, yellow. What have I done wrong here? Huh? Whatever. So these are instant fucking death. You go right back to the start. That's charming. Wow, those come back quickly. I just about fucked it. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, oh. Oh, this door. I won't be in this door. Okay. Maybe I could jump? I want to see if I fall down. Okay, let's go! Did it! We got three days to get our primary color game gems in. Uh, game jam entries in. Oh, look, video! Oh, we can move the mouse around. Okay. <laughs> uh, did we we got an instant death screen, didn't we? Hang on, I think we got quite a few things going on here. That means we got bingo! Wow, we also we got game has VR support. Because 
try to open Steam VR. Well done, us. Right. Well, I'm going to move over here just very briefly because, mercifully, because I've had these things kicking around for what feels like forever, we can actually have a fucking bingo. Wowie. No, dreamers. So these aren't like this. Isn't like the absinthe, and it's not gonna. It's not gonna get me super fucked, but the, these are good fun, right? So in front of me, dreamers, I have three small bottles, right? And I would like you to choose the poison that I have to drink here. So the three bottles that we have here, right? Elderflower gin, nettle gin, and potato vodka, right? I have not tried these. I don't know what they're like. Um, drinking neat gin is a recipe for disaster anyway, but these are flavoured. So, will you keep track of that on the counter? Uh, no. No. No, I won't, because I'm rubbish. I'm also going to be drinking this out of a shot glass that's had um, bourbon in it, so... That's probably going to end badly, but... Okay. Uh, nettle, Fairy Slash says. Okay, I'm game for Nettle. Do we have a second? Do we have a second? Do we have a second? Anytime now. Anytime now. Oof. Okay, good. We're drinking the nettle one then. Thank you, everybody, for your input. Nettle gin it is. Okay. It just smells like gin. Yeah, it just smells like gin. Right. Probably should have had another glass. Go with nettle, I guess. Uh, so I can pour this in without it being... But what I'll do is I'll stick my finger into the shot glass. Right. Because that's definitely cleaner than um, anything else. Oh, spicy. And then I'll put the nettle gin in. That'll work. Just smells like gin. I don't know what any of that is. You don't know what potato is, Dr. Odd. You don't know what elderflower is. You don't know what gin is. Right, okay. I might be... Uh, we're gonna shoot it, right? We're gonna fucking shoot it, right? Cheers. Yeah, that's what that tastes like. Oh, it's just because I don't like neat gin, really. I don't like neat gin at the best of times. It doesn't really taste like nettle, it just tastes like gin. Drink a whole potato, yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that. Okay, we can fall off here, that's good. This door's purple, that's also good. Just about fell off there, less good. Technically we're doing another shot. I might pace myself a little bit, Dreamers, you, you understand, right? Ah, it's one of these. We do like these, don't we? Did it! No, I didn't do it. I thought I did it. There's a knack to these, which... Like, I, I simply can't remember. Um, oh, it's really fucking... Oh no, we, look, we did it by accident. Hey, we did it by accident. Well done. I wonder how long this game is.
Nice song. This is a music box. This is the last remaining memory belonging to Primary Color Man. It's self winding can be used once every 60 seconds. One song doesn't really do much, but when the Primary Color Man is after you, it can help to slow him down. Press the R key to use the music box when you need it most. Okay. Was the button to do that? Or we'll just wait a little bit so it recharges. That's presumably long enough, right? That music comes back. No. I hate it. Tough. No. I ain't afraid. Think I'm afraid of primary colors? No. <laughs> ha 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 ha. I'm gonna kill you. Each move costs five. You Welcome to the third room of the playhouse. Here we find a series of doors connected to each other. Using right mouse click and left mouse click, you can rotate the dials until they match their corresponding numbers. When you have successfully rotated the dials to the correct position, the door will open. Some doors will require math. Some doors will require you to find the code. If you get stuck, there's a help button on the wall. What? Oh. Hang on a minute, it opened a YouTube video. What? No. Right, we're not watching that. What? Each move costs you five. You can go left, you can go right. Choose doors carefully. Look for the sequences to safety, like a clock, but not a clock. What does it mean? What does it mean, dreamers? How do you feel now? Uh, I don't know. The the gin is, is kind of upset me a bit. Um. Each move costs you five. Five what? Five what? Cost me five what? What are we trying to add up to? Choose doors carefully. What? What the fuck is this on about? Uh huh. It's set up in a circle like a clock. What do you? I I don't understand what. So this should be set to. 20? So hang on. 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15. Right. Hey, okay, right, we did it. We did it, right. Jeez. This is like that fucking Crystal Maze Z Doom all over again.
How very beautiful. That's just what I've always wanted. Cyber people. Where is Daddy coming home? I don't know, sweetie. Why don't you listen to the music box Daddy bought for you? Thanks, guys. Thanks, cyber people. I had a great time. That room sucks. That's the back rooms there. Yeah. Hey, you. What's this? Daddy, please come home. That's primary colors, man. When he's running out of colors. These are the lower rooms, I guess. It amuses me that this game has a sprint meter. I don't really understand why this game would need a sprint mirror. Okay, we got a choice of three paths. Oh, look at this one. Thirty-two. Right. Math. What? It'd be interesting if you guys are enjoying this because I don't dislike it. It just seems a bit strange. I don't know if it's entertaining to watch or not. That must be multiples, right? So it's Hey, yeah. Very scary. Very scary. What's this shit? Yeah, yeah, um. yeah, are we gonna remember this fucking shit? Primary colors, man. More like primary fucking bollocks, man.
Right. How do we know which one's which, though? Left is negative. Five fifty five five. Okay. Right. So these all must be for here, right? I wonder if that thing's reset. Can you go down there again? Yeah, we could do I don't know if that's a good idea, though. Next game when? Probably quite soon, to be honest. This is a patience kind of puzzle. Maybe fine if you're not like a major league streamer such as myself. In which case you could, uh, you know, dick around with this all night, but I don't think I can be bothered with that. What order are they in? Right, so if we assume that's the leftmost one. And we assume pretty much based on nothing at all that's the rightmost one. So what's that? 40. Minus 40 and then there's a 3. So, so what would that be? Minus 120? How are we going to know if we get any of this right? Oh yeah, of course, right, the door. This is a real speed bump, so hang on, what did I say it was? Minus 120, right, let's try it. And also the fact that the fuck you've got the fucking stamina meter as well. Yeah, it was interesting when it wasn't about the puzzle. The puzzle's a real speed bump. Wait, does this actually go that far? Minus 120. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how many times I need to press it for it to be right. Oh, this is not... This is, this is so bollocks, this. You know, minus 120, so... It's by 5, so... Uh, 20. Twenty four times. Let's go with that. Because we've got no way of knowing if that's right. Any of that's right. If I've turned it the right amount, if it's fucking. Oh, hang on. What's this bullshit? Listen to Fairy. I want to try it. I want to. I want to try it. Right. We'll try my theory once, and if it if it's really tedious, then we'll just fucking abandon it. Minus fifty one. Right. Okay. That's easy. It's just 10, isn't it? Oh, hang on, I lost count there. With no positive feedback though, and if you're getting these right or not, this, this just seems like rather, uh, how should we say, Poor puzzle design. 32, so 60. We'll say. We'll say. Oh god, I'm so fucking...
All right. Okay. I give up. I give up. Okay. Uh, good. That's enough of that game, I think. Right. Go on, Bennett. Go on, Bennett. Maybe you guys had a better clue of what was going on there. Um, it wasn't really jumping out to me. That was the only idea I had. I imagine it's something quite obvious in hindsight, but uh, is that a rage quit? Well, it's more like a peer pressure quit because you guys are voting for the next game. I don't think it's fair to say that I rage quit uh, when you guys are going, next game fudge, next fucking game fudge. It's not fair, is it? It's not fair. It's not fair. Right. Good. We didn't even get to see uh, dancing. But we didn't even get to use the music box. Look at them dancing there. Look at them dancing. Wowee. Oh, look. If you're stuck at the door dial puzzle, please note that left mouse click is negative, so plus numbers, and right mouse click is positive. And each time you click, it adds five to the number total. Yeah, I got that. I figured that out. I totally figured that bit out. It doesn't mean that I knew what to do in that bloody puzzle, though. Cool game. Oh my god. Great jobs. Great jobs. Great jobs. Great jobs. Queen Faith decrees great jobs for every man, woman, and child. A Queen Faith approved great job. Would you like a Queen, Queen Faith approved great job? Because she's offering great jobs. Great jobs. 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 Jobs, everyone. Jobs. You want a job? You want a job? You want a Queen Faith job? Great jobs. Uh, good, right. Well, that's a shot then, isn't it? On top of everything else that happened in that game. Fucking the Queen Faith Grand Tour. Okay. Visual masterpiece. Oh, excuse me. Visual masterpiece. And look, this game doesn't just have millions of people commenting with their links to their YouTube videos. It's just Queen Faith and Eva Pilot. Bro, so good by Vidis Games. Thanks for playing, mate. Nice. What did I think of that? Uh, to what I think the chat was alluding to as well, the horror aspects of it were kind of fun. The puzzles, maybe not so much the earlier ones, but that one in particular, it just... It, it feels like quicksand. You know, you're, you're kind of... The story's emerging, you're sort of making your way through things and then suddenly just like bam now that may have just been because i'm an idiot i didn't have loads of people in the stream telling me fudge this is how you do it, you idiot which makes me think maybe it it wasn't just me i don't know um altogether though i mean the game was 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 quite interesting i don't know how long it took to make did it say 10 sleepless nights or something like that Where did I see that? Yeah, 10 sleepless days. This is kind of the same thing as 10 sleepless nights. Um, impressive. Uh, but, you know, I think that puzzle's just perhaps a little bit... Certainly for me, as an elite streamer, I would probably say that puzzle is not well positioned because it's, it's literally like you just hit it like a brick wall. And we were running about in there for what felt like forever. It probably wasn't even that long. It just felt like forever. I tabbed a of that puzzle. Uh, thanks, Argon. That makes me feel a lot better. That was me hoping that my endearing personality and witty, on point, and topical humour uh, would have kept you, you know, entertained. But alas, alas, no. Alas, no. It didn't work out. But that's okay. <sighs> It's okay, I suppose. Well, I suppose with that fun out of the way... I'm just having a look at the chat, Dreamers, I'm very sorry. 
With that fun out of the way, we might as well see if we can fit another game in. We got 25 minutes, we can do it, right? In case you're just wondering, uh, you're just tuning in, you wonder what we're doing. Look at this! We got a bingo! Did I pour a shot for Queen's Day spotted? I don't think I did. I don't think I did, so let's do it. Uh, we'll make it a kind of bigger one, because, you know... I'm feeling like a bigger one. And that's not meant to sound that suggestive. Suggestive? I can't even speak properly. That fucking nettle gin. I tell you what. Right, okay, good. Right, next game. Dreamers. And I think there's only one game that we can really play. I mean, we've had the Ludum Jam. We've had the Primary Colour Man Jam. But what would naturally follow on from this really nicely? I tell you what will. Backrooms. That's right, we we'll found the real original Backrooms. Here we go, Backrooms. It's even called Backrooms, okay. It did, Brood. It did. We, we, we got Queen Faith twice in a row. We got Queen Faithed, like a, like a raid. Queen Faith raided. Look, Escape the Backrooms, right? This is it. This is what everyone's been look, talking about and looking for. This is the original one, Backroom. Escape the Bathroom. Okay, good. Right, I I'm going to escape the bathroom, dreamers. Here we go. Then we'll game. We can get three more bingos. Fucking hope not. What do you mean, apk.exe? What do you mean, apk.exe? That was a big bang. What the fuck was that? What do you mean, apk.exe? Why is it dot apk dot exp? That's that's like you're gonna play this shit. I don't know. It's got a weird file extension or a file name anyway. Apk is like a bloody Android app, isn't it? But the icon is that of a. I don't know what that is. It looks familiar. I don't know what it is. It says it's RPG Maker. Uh, is it a virus? Uh, let's find out. Don't say I uh, never do anything good for you guys. Here we go, virus time. I'm assuming it's some kind of self-extracting thing. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Or it could just be uh, nothing. There's this thing called background. Well, it didn't start. It literally just started and then went away again. Why? Okay, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, well, I guess we're not playing uh, Backroom then. I don't know why it's an APK anyway, but I suspect whoever's made this has done something weird. Bitcoin miner. No, there was there was nothing that... I, I tried opening it. There was nothing that could be extracted from it. It didn't... I don't know. I'm just going to quickly check again, actually. Hang on. No, it's got it's got what looks like installer shield stuff in it, but um it doesn't work. So bye then. Okay. 
Good thing that we have alternative plans because uh, we would have liked to have played dark room, uh, dark rooms, back rooms. I can't remember what the fucking thing's called. Let's watch the trailer. Okay, good. I hope you're all awake now. There's a key in the bottom of the clock. I better pick it. Okay. Good. What else has this person done? Lost in time. Okay, good. That was very loud, yeah, wasn't it? That was exciting. You mean a Bitcoin now? Yeah, very possibly. Very possibly. For the better though, I hope it makes somebody wealthy. I could do with being a bit wealthy, but yeah. Beggars can't be choosers and all of that. Interesting. Right. Well, on to the fallback suggestion then, I suppose, uh, which was not this. Uh, maybe that's for the best because it didn't seem like people were all that excited about back rooms or whatever the fuck I was calling it. So, in lieu of that, something which is guaranteed to work just fine and is also another submission to the uh, Ludum Dare 50 is a game called... High Rail to Hell. Uh, they probably don't have to make an EX, so you got to use mobile. Yeah, the fact that it's an EPK makes me think maybe it is for Android, but then again, it's also a .exe. So, unless they've done something very strange. I don't really know what's going on there. I don't know. It's all very complicated, and I just don't really want to think about it right now. I'm sure it's all fine. It usually is. Right, okay, good. Well, this game's called High Rail to Hell. High Rail to Hell. Uh, please try the Windows version. We might download it. It says that there might be bugs in it, so we might just download it anyway, just to be safe. Good. I hope Queen Faith didn't review this. Give me a break. It looks fun. Doesn't it look fun? It doesn't look like horror, but it does look fun. <laughs> Fighty dudes, indeed. Yeah, we can't get enough of the trains today. Practically British rail around here. Yeah. Ah, good. A Unity game that actually asks me what fucking size I want to play the game in, as opposed to just starting in full screen and then not fucking working otherwise. What a novelty. Okay, get to the exit door. Okay, right. Well, I'll get to it. Hang on. I gotta fucking get the thing ready for us. Right, okay, good. Works. Apparently it runs in the browser, but we're not going to do that because, you know, as I'm sure Argon would agree, games that run in the browser are bollocks. Nobody likes those. Right, Highway to Hell, everybody. Highway to Hell is a puzzle beat-em-up where you try to get away from a zombie horde while aboard a train. Controls. C, attack. X, kick zombies away and give yourself space. Zombies can only be kicked once their health is red. Um, space, dodge in the direction you're moving in. Left and right arrow, keep movement. Okay, that sounds straightforward enough. What tags have we got here? Beat em up horror, Ludum Dare 50, pixel art. Author, Bad Piggy, and it's got 12 ratings of five stars. Excellent. There's no Queen Faith spotted. That's a shame, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna drink this alcohol now, cheers. I, I poured a shot ages ago, I can't remember when I did it. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Oh, holy shit. Oh, I think some of the nettle gin has interfered with the bourbon. Ah. Oh. oh, my God.
Wow. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh dear. Right. Buttons. Okay, we can roll. Okay, get to the exit door. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's just run. Okay, kill zombie. Okay, we died. Go, 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 go. Oh god, the door's got millions of health. Oh Jesus. Do it. Right, we did it. Okay, I don't know if that's how we're supposed to do that. Get to the exit door. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that was short. That was a very short game. Now the music's playing twice. That's a nice touch. Oh, you see, you can kick them into the the oncoming zombies. Right, just go. It's got quite, um... Oh, we're not gonna have time. Quickly! Quickly! Shit. God, I'm so bad at this. Uh oh. How the fuck did we even do this last time? Jesus Christ. Just go. Ow. Just go. Quickly. Ow. No! This is the way you want to be equipped in a, a scenario where you have to fend off zombies though, right? With a big fucking red miscellaneous weapon. It's like sword, I suppose. Okay. That's the whole game, Dreamers. We didn't even do the kick on the first playthrough, which um, maybe suggests I'm really good at the game. It's Dark Souls because you roll. Uh, well, I guess that was that then. That was uh, brief. What does it run like in the browser, out of curiosity? It runs fine. What were they talking about? It's going to be kind of loud, though. Just fucking go over there, dickhead. All right, let's just um, let's just die. Okay, good. Well, we beat the game.
a little bit earlier than I might have hoped because that leaves us in a bit of an awkward predicament where we've got 10 minutes to potentially play something else. Uh, the controls felt great and I liked the style. I wish the kick wasn't tied to the zombie's health. Yeah, interesting idea. And love the art direction. Just gameplay could be balanced better. Can't even pass the first level. Good small game. Look who is here too. Who's that? I don't know. Internet celebrity, perhaps. Right, well, okay, we've got 10 minutes. So, do you know what, dreamers? Do you know what? I have one other game that we could have a look at. But, you know what? The ones that I've picked, you know. Why don't you, Glot? We'll scroll down here very slowly. And if there's a game that jumps out in here and you think, damn it, I would love to see Fudge playing that. Now is your time to make your opinion known, dreamers. Get it out there and let me know, okay? Quickly, though. We don't have much time. Hey, look, space funeral. What? Space funeral? Best game ever. Yo, space funeral on edge.io? <gasps> Should I consult my cat? Classic game. Classic. Uh, what, what is it? Is um the Calamites actually uploaded anything else? Like ever? I wonder. The astonishing Captain Skull. Yeah, this some bullshit. Okay, Sonic. Okay. Is that a generic you windscreen? Yeah, possibly. Space Funeral is so good. It definitely is. Uh, so what, we we thinking Sonic then? Sonic the Hedgehog 7. This is what we want to check out. It's not even in English. Jesus. Uh, was it a generic you win screen? Uh, I suppose it was, wasn't it? Uh, I'll give you that one. I'll give you it. Why the fuck not? Why not? <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 7, everyone. Sonic the Hedgehog 7. Okay, we're going to play Sonic the Hedgehog 7. This game's 90 megabytes. I bet it is probably about 5 seconds of gameplay as well. If it's not just a virus, it could just be a virus. To be honest. Could be. Oh yeah, it's got it's got that uh funny thing in it. Okay. Good. All the hallmarks of a good game. Like being ear bustingly loud. Jesus Christ, that was loud, wasn't it? I'm very sorry, dreamers. That seems to be the theme of the moment. It's got music from the fucking Game Gear Sonic, the Master System Sonic. All right, I'm gonna mute that just because it's kind of annoying me. All right. Oh, oh, oh god, this is a bad idea. This isn't a bad this is a bad idea. I can just tell this is gonna be the worst idea of the night. We already downloaded one virus. Now I'm gonna be fucking I gotta have two viruses running at the same time. It's also tagged with bloody Ludum Dare as well. S A E Sonic O Orico Seven mm, Fan Game K Utiliza mm, Modo Chambino N. Que sa apparencia dos anos thirty. Uh, o jono jogo apenas estas na sa fase de desvelvolimento. Uh -huh. Esta e verseo 0.1 en tau corta. Okay, I don't know what that means. Do you remember let's have two viruses? 
One in each hand, Argon, would you believe? 2D horror and Ludum Dare. Good. No com no comments of any kind. No Queen Faith. I suppose I should probably pour a shot. You just gotta keep You're just gonna keep this crap to yourself. What? What crap? I'm pouring a slightly bigger shot because uh, we got a drinking condition. Well done us. Well done us. Right, good. Good. Right. Oh boy, oh, I dread to think what noises this fucking game's making at the moment. Ugh, right. The answer is none. Okay, press button. Press button. Oh man, fucking 8-bit Sonic! Kids, come on! Hands in the air, get your fucking lighters out! Let's fucking go! Mmm. I can drink the shot now. Fucking eight bit Sonic bitches. Those aren't Sonic enemies though. Can we kill them? Yep. Doesn't really handle like Sonic, but okay. D has, has anyone in the chat even played the fucking 8 bit Sonic games? I'd be very impressed if any of you have. Oh, I think we died. Whoops. Noob. I bet this is going to get stupidly loud, just arbitrarily. That's a big one. Taken down though. I'm not afraid, I'm fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. I like how the sky does that, that's a nice feature. What the shit is that thing? <laughs> you know, one of the nice things about the Sonic... One of the nice things about the Sonic game mechanics is that when you pick up rings, it means that you drop the rings when you take damage. So you don't just immediately die, like, what happens there. Which I think might also be a drinking condition, so well done us on that front. We're gonna have to fucking speedrun this shit, but not too quickly because the enemies appear quite quickly. Game beer feels like crap. Game beer? Game beer? Oh, there's millions. What? What? What the, what the, the fucking what? Fucking. Fucking. Fuck's sake. What's the point in even killing the enemies? 
Can you spin dash? I don't know, Argon, can you spin dash? Why don't you fucking spin dash? What's this about Game Beer? Game Beer. Okay, whoa, 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 Is that it? Is that the whole game? I mean, as a platformer, I suppose it's it's not terrible, but um, yeah. That was conveniently timed. Oh, you fucking... They didn't fucking take any prisoners in the fucking 8-bit era, let me tell you. What was this? This was the river world, was it? I think it was called. The river world. River. Zone. Fucking go, Sonic. Just go. Okay, that's the whole game, I think. <sighs> that's about as much as I'm willing to play anyway. But do you know what? It's made me think that I'm going to listen to one bit of music, though. I'm going to subject all of you to it because it's made me think of it. Listen to this, right? Here we go. Uh, some more about Sonic for you in case you were curious about why we were just listening to that horrendous racket. Right, what did we think of that? I mean, as I suppose a platform implementation, it's difficult to fault it, uh, but was it good? Uh, instant death screen? Um, I don't know if anybody was championing that in particular, but uh, I mean, it felt like we had a few instant death screens in that one. Uh, no comments in this one. Uh, I mean, I suppose it was it depends on what this person's intending to do with this. I was expecting it to be some kind of horror thing, given that it's tagged as horror, but there was no horror to it. Do we need to play the game through like 30 times? Is that what this text says? I'm going to translate it. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Spanish. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 7, a fan game that uses a mode called N. Than its 1930s look, this game is just in its development phase. This is version 0 0.1, so enjoy. As of version 0 0.1, I mean, it, it works. I, I just, it obviously doesn't have a lot to it other than what I suppose you would consider the base game of it. Uh, River Sonic, River Zone Sonic is up Shit's Creek. Up the river, if you will. Um... That's probably about as eloquent a point as any to bring this to some kind of thunderous conclusion, dreamers. 
because uh, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm kind of tired now after all that. Um, it's been quite exciting, all things considered. Uh, but, you know, we've, we've, we've covered quite a lot of ground. We've downloaded a couple of viruses, you know, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all fun, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Maybe. Um, of course, we do this every Thursday, Dreamers, so if you're tuning in for the first time and you've had a good time, then make sure and tune in next week. We'll probably do something else, maybe some Yumaniki fan games, because that's the, that's the real breadwinner of the bingo streams, as we all know. Um, but it's probably about time that I bid myself... Uh, I need to get some sleep, to be honest. I got a big day. I got a big day tomorrow, Dreamers. Big. Really fucking big. Big, like, Sonic 7. Um, and I'm, I'm really glad that we got a bingo, because we actually managed to get into these weird uh, bottles of alcohol that I've had sitting about since Christmas. And uh, we're now actually getting to drink them, which is good. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed yourself, Dreamers. It's good to be back. Um, I'm hoping to get back into some kind of production regime... I've already been scoping some stuff out in Tiki, so assuming the stars align and I can actually get my head down on that a little bit, we're going to be um, hopefully getting some Tiki in the near future. Uh, not too quickly, because before we know it, the bloody 200th episode's going to be on us, and that's a bit of a scary thought, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Fudge dating. What do you mean? What do you mean, face slash? What's that supposed to mean? You're saying I'm like... I would be bad on a date. That's that's harsh. That's that's, that's really harsh. I can't believe you would say that. I, you're probably right, to be honest. I mean, I, I wouldn't go on a date with me. Imagine that. I would just be like, oh, how, what, have you played the Yumi Tiki? Have you, have you found the uh, eggs yet? Uh, awkward silence while uh, we order another three bottles of wine. Yeah. That's the date. So, I mean, if that sounds good to you, Dreamers, then, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm here. You know, you, we can talk about it, you know. Um, I'll take you to the most famous Burger King in, in London. But aside from that, Dreamers, um, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Um, I'm going to post a link to the Discord if you're new here and you want to chat to these mental Dreamers in your off time. You can do that. You can join the Discord. There are all lovely people in there. I'm sure they will make you feel more than welcome. But uh, with that, I will probably bid you all adieu. It's been a pleasure, dreamers. If you've got much of a Thursday left to go, please enjoy it to its fullest. Otherwise, have an absolutely fantastic weekend when it comes around. And hopefully, I'll see you next week.